Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I got a different type of video and we actually went and bought a fish tank. Uh, it's a 20 gallon tank. It's like a starter kit and it was only $90 after tax and everything, but I'm gonna open it up and start putting it together. It's the first ever fish tank I've ever had. And um, I plan on putting like a little bass in there and see if I can grow it. Like I wanna catch one like that big see if i can grow it big enough to like i don't know as big as i can but let's get this thing out of here and it has it's like a starter kit so it has everything you need to start which is sweet come on here's the tank Okay, I'm gonna go through everything that came with the tank. So first off, there's a filter. That's like a bubbler too. It's a power filter. I don't know, this is all new stuff to me, so I'm gonna have to figure it out, but yeah. We got that. We got whatever this is. Um, this is an LED light stick. I'm gonna pull it out. I wanna see what it looks like. Oh, it's literally just an LED light stick plug in and uh, switch on and off. I'm gonna set that behind. Same with this one. Uh, next is a heater. Came with the water heater, so that's nice. I don't know if I'll really need it, but it'll help control where the water's at, temperature-wise. If I can do it open. So that's a water heater. Looks like it has like some type of gravel in it. I don't know, I better keep the directions to all this. Uh, came with a little fish net, which probably won't be needing that. Uh, some fish food, which I'm gonna have in a bath, so I don't probably will, won't use that. Uh, this will make tap water safe, which is nice, because that's what I'll be using. So I'll have to dump that in there. Treats 30 gallons, and this is just a 20 gallon tank. Here's a couple directions. Clip. And then, last but not least, the top part. Just gotta make sure I don't lose anything. But here's the top to it. And we're gonna have to go through and figure out how to put this thing together. I should start out with reading directions. I'm gonna look over the directions and I'll pick you guys back up once I kind of get it figured out. Okay guys, so I didn't know a fish tank was gonna be that hard to put together, but it's kind of getting, it's kind of difficult, but I kind of somewhat figured it out by looking at the directions, but I think I dropped a piece now. Where is it at? Oh, right here, I got it. Okay, so first off, I got these, these clips. This is what's gonna hold the top on. All they do, so you just go like this. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but just push, boom, they clip on like that and then you can slide them. And we got the other one that will be on this side. And they have this little groove. See how there's a little groove? That's what clips in there. So snaps in just like that. And now next you're gonna take your top, which you gotta figure out how it sits on here and where you need these clips to be, which I'm gonna have to slide that over. So then that one's gonna be just like that. I can just push that down. And then this one, same thing, slide it over. And if I can, pop it down. There, pop that down. So now the lid's on. So now it, this is the feeding hole, they say. This is for the extra other parts, but then it just lifts up like that. Okay, then the next part is gonna be the light and the light lays right in here. So let me grab the light. It just kind of clips in here. Okay guys, so the light is gonna go right here. It's just gonna, it kind of just lays in there it looks like. So I'm gonna let me get that in there. And it has cords and then a switch right here, which I'm just gonna pop these apart just for now so it's not flopping all over. But. Set it just like this. 
Oh shoot. Boom, boom. And it just kind of snaps in there. And I'm just gonna leave that kind of dripped off to the side for now, which I think it can go up and under here. So we'll leave that like that. I'm just gonna leave the wires how they are for right now. It kind of, I guess the wires do go down in here. If you guys can see, there's like a little groove for the wires to go down in, so boom. Like that, and then they'll drip out, but I'm not gonna worry about that yet. Uh, let's see what this, I haven't even opened, haven't even opened the filter yet, so we're doing that right now. Got, oh gosh, I gotta put the filter together too. There's the actual filter part, and that's what it looks like without anything done to it. I don't know what that is, and then the tubing. So this is going to be another mission to put together. Yeah, and I've never had a fish tank, so that's why I'm like learning this as I go. We'll figure it out. I just want to make sure I'm doing everything right and not the wrong way. So I'm looking at this picture right now and it has these tubes. And so this tube's going to connect in here. Oh gosh, if I don't break it. Just kind of twist in there, I think. Pops in there. And then I'm looking at the picture and this part where it has that little top is going to get pushed into that hole down there. So I think it just pops in there. Yeah, there's a little groove so that snaps in there just like that sorry bad camera angle but it snaps in there just like that and that's gonna be like the bubbler part of it and then I'm gonna open this part whatever this is so this is the different filter I think oh that's heavy that's like a sand thing I think this one goes in the back if I can get it in there Oh, there's a groove for it. That one goes in the back. Sorry, I'm not very good. I'll put this down where I'm working. So that one goes right there in the back. And then as the picture shows, that next one goes up front. Right next to it, like in between. If I can get it down in there. Oh, probably should do it the other way first. This probably should go first. But this is like free falling. And then we'll put this in here. That's how that goes. Now, what are the other pieces? Oh, and then the top. And then the top. And we'll see how it goes on here, except for it doesn't show it, so flip the frickin' box over. Shows it just like that. Oh, and I, there's a lower and higher setting on that, but this doesn't click in, I don't think. Yeah, that just sets on there, I guess. Okay guys, so I got this all done, as you guys saw, and now I'm gonna, I gotta pop these out, or just one section of it, so that I can get that filtration, filtration system in there, but it's like, gotta just break them off. Ouch. This should make this easier, I feel like. There, see, just break that section off. That's what those are made for. Now I can drop this closed, and there fell the light, but it'll be okay. And then this, I'm gonna take, take this, and it has a little hook on the back, or the front, I guess, and that's just gonna drop in there. Might have to take both off, but that's just gonna drop. Nope, be fine, drop just like that, set the top on it, and that is all good. And then I have this heater, which they say to set it next to the filtration system. So, which all it is is a tube. I don't know what exactly, how it exactly works or how I know 
like what temperature it is at, but I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna take these clips off real quick if I can. I don't know exactly how these clips work, but I don't think that's right. But I guess I'll figure it out after. And then they want they say put this by your filtration system, so I'm gonna stick it literally right below it. Suction this. straight underneath it because it has this little suction cup on it so that it'll stay like that hopefully it should and have the wires everything that's is just going to stay tucked up against this so there's nothing else the main part is going to be right there and then there's not, not going to be anything else like that i'm going to have to worry about besides right here so that's the fish tank set up that's everything that came with it so i'm gonna get some gravel and filter it out so it's clean and get it in here and then fill it up with water and then we plan on tomorrow going out and see if we can get a fish for it which i want to catch a small bass i don't want one too long like i want to catch one super small so i can see how big i can grow it and see make sure i can keep it alive and everything before yeah for if i get a bigger tank or anything and start putting more fish in it but yeah i'm gonna get go get the gravel and then fill it up with water there's the aquarium set up now i'm gonna work on going and get in sand for it out of the creek that's close to our house hey guys so this is the creek next to my house and i'm just gonna take some of the sand and then go filter it out at the house after i get a couple scoops out of here just because it's gonna be easier to get this than and cheaper to do this than go freaking buy it from a store. And I'm gonna make sure I filter it out enough so that nothing bad's in it. So we're filtering all the rocks out right now just to make sure it's just sand. So using the little net that came with it. It works pretty well to keep just the sand and not the rocks or anything. Guys, so we got this the sand pretty filtered where it's just the soft sand. It's not big chunks of rock. So I'm going to get it dumped in here. And there is a little bit of water in here, but it's going to be the same water I'm putting into the tank and letting filter out so it'll be fine. But I'm going to see if I can slowly dump this in here without making a mess. Uh, yeah, you can hang on to that. There's that freaking water coming out, but Ugh. Okay, now I'm gonna fill up this bucket of, with water and then just out of our bathtub and then I'll bring it back and put it in the tank and get that filled up and then we got that, whatever that stuff is right there that makes the tap water safe so we'll have to put that in there. Hey guys, so we got the tank pretty much full but it tells us to add this so it makes the tap water safe and we've shook it up so I'm gonna add this and then I'll add the rest of the water to fill it up so that it mixes this all around and good and then i'm going to let it settle then later i'm going to turn on the filter system so it starts filtering and probably the heater so it warms the water up a little bit but i think this is just liquid yeah it says for 30 gallons but i'm going to add it like this for the first one just to make sure it gets all cleaned especially with that dirt being in there and then I'm gonna add just the rest of the water just so it stirs it up a little. And the rest. And yeah, I'll show you guys once it settles and then I can smooth the sand out and then we're gonna put this in 
as part of it too, the deer horns we found. But we're gonna let it settle first and probably scoop out everything that's on top. Hey guys, so we got the filter going. It's hard to see. Um, here, I'll turn it on for you guys so you can see that now. Uh, took us a minute, but it's pretty cloudy still. It's kind of clear, but I got the filter going. We're gonna let it run on, or I mean, continue to run, but <clears throat> we didn't realize you gotta put water in it to get it going. So it wasn't starting up at first. So we finally figured it out and now it's on high, which I'm just gonna probably leave it on high and just let it go. And hopefully that clears up after a while, but you can see all this stuff getting moved around. I'm just hoping it's filtering it out nice and good. But I'll show you guys once it clears up so you'll get a better see of it. Hey guys, so we let the tank sit overnight and it's cleared up for the most part, but this morning I kind of smoothed the sand out, which kicked it up a little more, but there's a, it's clear and I added the deer horns in there. And then I'm probably gonna put like a piece of PVC pipe in there so it has like a little cave and then get some grass or something eventually, but yeah, that's the tank and I'm gonna leave, or that filter's been on forever, it's on high because there's two different settings, but I'm gonna just continue to leave that on. And then I got the heater back there. I don't know if you guys can see it, yeah, right there is the heater. And that's on because the water's like freezing cold, but yeah, it's just a deer horn I found, I don't know, last year or something, but I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll hopefully be getting a fish in here soon. A little small bass, I want to catch a really small one, but I don't want to be too big. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys on the next one.